Hi, uh, welcome to the session on how to ace the MBA interviews. Uh, an MBA interview is uh, not something I know that uh, most students look forward to. And I've always wondered why. Uh, to me, it means that you know, you've cleared the first hurdle, you know, you've cleared the written test, uh, you've gotten your mark, which is why you've been called for an interview. And uh, I believe it's a great opportunity for you to craft your personal narrative and uh, sell it to the panel. Uh, of course, before doing that, a uh, few things that you must keep in mind. I believe the most important one is you should do a thorough um, you know, analysis of yourself. In the sense, really delve deep inside and know the kind of person that you are, you know, your strengths, your weaknesses, the kind of work that you like to do, the kind of work that you uh, are very, very comfortable doing, your USP, uh, what are your goals, short term, long term, what is it that you really want out of life. Now, you obviously are, are not going to get the opportunity to talk about all of this in the interview, but it really helps. You know, when you know what is it that you want and where exactly and how exactly are you going to achieve those goals in life. The second thing that I think you should do is, you know, in your preparation um, for the MBA interview is you must know your stuff. I mean, you must uh, know, you must have complete command over your domain knowledge. You couldn't possibly have spent uh, four years uh, pursuing an engineering degree and not know the basics. I, mean, I distinctly recall one of my co-panelists asking uh, a candidate a question on the laws of thermodynamics and he was clueless. So these are things which um, create, if you ask me frankly, a terrible impression on the panel. If you don't know what you've studied in four years, uh, if you're a commerce student or a humanities student, whatever, you should know the stuff that you've been studying for so long. Having said that, um, the first uh, question that uh, usually uh, interviewers ask you is uh, tell me something about yourself. Now I think that is something uh, where you can really shine and sparkle and dazzle. You know, you can actually take the panelist's hand and take them wherever you want them to go. And this is not um, the same thing as uh, walk me through your CV. That's slightly different. That would generally be about your roles, your responsibilities and more professional. This uh, of course has uh, a personal uh, aspect to it as well. Also talk about uh, interesting aspects of your personality which you would want the interviewer to know. Uh, you know particularly if you have uh, uh, some interesting hobbies or an interest uh, that you are uh, extremely passionate about. You know, For instance, if you play a musical instrument, you are an avid uh, trekker or if you are a blogger, you are a cinema buff and you write a blog on cinema. I think that's great. It adds a completely uh, different dimension to your personality. Uh, that's one thing where I believe that you know you. That's the first uh, terrific impression that you can make. Then, of course, you have the most obvious question of all: Why an MBA? And this is where your self-analysis will help a great deal. You must know as to why do you want to do an MBA? A short-term goal? A long-term goal? How is it? How is an MBA tied in with that? Like for instance, uh, you know, you've uh, reached a wall as far as your career is concerned and you know that to get past that you need an MBA or you've been in a particular industry for a very long time, you know, you've been in the real estate industry for say about like say five years and you want to break, you want to change your functional area and that's where an MBA helps. So talk about these things as candidly, as honestly as you possibly can. Okay, so after we've uh, you know spoken about how you deal with the two questions, tell me something about yourself and why an MBA. Last uh, couple of pointers that I'd like to really share with you is that the first thing is be yourself, be natural. I mean, I know that's easier said than done. Uh, you are stressed and you are you know, overwhelmed by the entire uh, interview business, but relax, be natural, be yourself. Uh, don't try and be something that you are not. It'll come through. And that is not something that you'd really want, you know. So don't posture, don't be pretentious, just be yourself. And the other thing is that um, even if you have to, uh, you know, put on a little bit, I know I'm being contrary to what I just said earlier, be energetic. Now, that shouldn't be so hard, you know, be enthusiastic. You must understand that uh, panelists go through so many interviews a day. And uh, very often there are candidates who come looking, um, for want of a better word, absolutely deflated. You wouldn't want to come across as something like that. Be energetic, be
be enthusiastic, uh, armed with your uh, domain knowledge and your, uh, you know, your, your awareness of yourself as an individual and uh, I see no reason why you shouldn't ace your MBA interview.